Now you are thinking about to create thumbnails like MrBeast, but you fail again and again. Because creating thumbnails like MrBeast is very hard task. Most of the time, Mr. Beast used this kind of high contrasting smooth skin retouching in his thumbnail. So if you're interested to create this kind of high contrasting edit thumbnails for your videos, watch the video to learn. Because I'm going to share a lot of tips and tricks like as a beginner you can follow up and create thumbnails like Mr. Beast. Now let's start the video by smashing the subscribe button and also press the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Now before starting the video, this video is sponsored by me. If you are a content creator or business owner struggling to grow your channel on YouTube, you can check out my service to help out. We provide all-in-one solution for your YouTube channel like scripting, video editing, thumbnail designing, management and many more. So if you want to go viral or grow your channel, just check out the first link down below. Now you are here in Photoshop. In this case, you can use the free version of Photoshop which is called the Photopia. It's a one-line free version. You can easily use that and create the same kind of thumbnails like me. Now for first, we're going to create a blank document. In this case, I'm going to go with the full HD version as I always do. Now after creating the blank document for our thumbnail, next step, we're going to introduce our background. In this case, we're going to use this background for like money background for that because it's going to be work perfectly for our thumbnail now after creating the background with that money next step we're going to introduce a solid color into the background we're going to take our very dark blue background and then we're going to change the blending mode into multiply after changing the blending mode next step we're going to use a brush tool to remove some of the certain area using that layer mask and then we're going to introduce our Mr. Beast image into the thumbnail. After introducing Mr. Beast image, next step is to remove the background for that image. To remove the background, we're going to use select and mask. We're going to select that mask and then we're going to select the subject. Now here you can see some of the parts is not been selected. We're going to use the brush tool to select manually some of the certain area that didn't select by automatic. Now you can see there's a lot of works that been done with the brush tool to remove that certain area. So after that, we're going to use that layer mask and hit OK. Now here you can see some of the area might be need to be adjusted. We're going to use again the brush tool and use that layer mask to remove or regain, regain that some of the areas. And after that, it's going to be good to go. After removing the background of Mr. Beast, next step we're going to use or create that glowing effect that we usually use in our thumbnails. To do that, first we're going to create a blank layer. Then we're going to fill it with the black layer, change the blending mode into the screen, and then create another blank layer. And then create a clipping mask to the layer. And then again go to the adjustment layer and take gradient map. Now here we're going to select the color of like blue or any kind of color that you want to introduce into the background and then hit OK. Next, check the brush tool, select the white color and apply that white color into the blank layer that is in the middle. Now you can see it's applying a really good glowing effect into the background. Now we're going to reduce that opacity of the layer so that we can bring down the intensity of that light into the background. And then we're going to use this image of like this is a really electric image that we're going to use into the background changing the blending mode by the screen and then we are good to go. Next step we're going to use a dollar png images in the background. It's a very simple way you can find it from google and then after use it into the background next we're going to apply a motion blur like as you can see the radial blur you can apply any kind of blur as you like. In this case, I'm going to go with the motion like a radial blur, which is a really good one to use. After that, we're going to use a layer mask or with the brush tool so that we can keep that a dollar amount in the intensity a little bit in the certain area. So we're going to use that brush tool with the layer mask. And 
the next step we're going to use some kind of smoky effect into the background it's going to be like it's coming from the mr beast here so we're going to use that one into the side area to side all of the mr beast take your time and apply that perfectly After making all those adjustments, next step we're going to apply 3D logo of YouTube into the certain area of that thumbnail. So we're going to apply that 3D logo all over the thumbnails and make it perfectly as possible. Now after applying that 3D logo all over the thumbnails, next step we're going to apply motion blur to that 3D logos. And now you can see we apply that dynamic effect into our thumbnails and we are ready to go to the next step. The next step is the most important to edit our Mr. Beast image as like he is doing on his thumbnails like giving a very high glowing effect. So we're going to edit our Mr. Beast image as like perfectly as we can do. To do that we're going to again double click onto the thumbnail of the Mr. Beast image and then we're going to apply a solid color into the background. For first we're going to introduce our skin smooth like you can follow up my steps to do that same kind of things i have already said into the multiple videos in my channel so you can also check out them After applying the smoother skin, next we're going to edit our image or like we're going to need to brighten up our eye, retouch our teeth, eye and the certain area. To do that, we're going to use that curve tools. We're going to introduce the brightness a little bit and then invert that layer mask. Then select the layer mask, use the brush tool, use the white color and apply those in those certain area. After applying that curve layer, next step is to apply a dodge and burn technique. To do that, we're going to take a curve layer, we can do go with any kind of adjustment layer. Then we're going to change the blending mode into linear dodge. Then invert that layer mask by pressing Ctrl I. Now we're going to take the brush tool and apply that dodge into the skin area to make it a little bit brighter and also give that kind of dodge effect. We're going to take another adjustment layer to apply that dodge into the certain area. After applying the dodge, next we're going to again apply the burn into the certain area. To do that, we're going to take another adjustment layer. This time we're going to change the blending mode into linear burn. And then we're going to invert the layer mask by pressing Ctrl I. Then take the brush tool and apply that burn into the certain area that you might think is going to be fit for to apply that burn. Next step we're going to apply camera filter into the Mr. Beast image and then we're going to be okay to use that image for our thumbnail. And the next step is to apply text effect into our thumbnail. So we're going to use a very simple text effect into our thumbnails. You can follow up my style and also follow up my steps to create that same kind of text effect easily in Photoshop.
Now after creating the text effect of our thumbnails, the final step is to apply again a camera filter for all over the images or all of the thumbnails. To do that, first select the top of the layer and then press Ctrl plus Shift plus Alt plus E on your keyboard. And if you're using Mac, you need to be pressed Shift plus Command plus Option plus E to create that snapshot. And then convert that layer into smart object. And then go to the filter and camera filter. In camera filter, take your time and do all kind of editing as I like and in this case, camera filter all the experimented, how much color you like to use, how much color you want to introduce in your thumbnails, you can apply that and you are good to go. Now you can see we just created our thumbnails and it's looking very nice and I hope that you like this video. If you like this, hit that like button and also be sure to subscribe and stay connected with our channel. And if you want to download this kind of thumbnails or these thumbnails, just check the link in the description I'm going to put to download that link. And also if you have any kind of question, you can just let me know in the comments below. I can reply or I will try my best to reply all of your comments. So that's it for today. See you in my next video. Till then. Bye.